Hello everyone, this is Rashid Khan and you are watching Innovative English Learning. You can also watch this video in Urdu or Hindi from the playlist. Today we are going to discuss past perfect tense. In this video, we'll talk about the different uses and the different structures of past perfect tense. Let's see where can we use past perfect tense and what are the different structures like affirmative, negative, WH questions in past perfect tense. Uses of past perfect tense. Sometimes we talk about something that happened in the past. So when something happens in the far past, we normally express it in past perfect tense or maybe sometimes in past simple tense. Sarah arrived at the party. So here that is simple past tense. This is the starting point of the story. Then if we want to talk about things that happened before this time, we use the past perfect head plus third form like when Sarah arrived at the party, Paul had already gone home. Now, this case, it is the past simple tense. When something happens before that time in the past, then we use past perfect. Like when Sarah arrived at the party, Paul had already gone home. So it means that the going of Paul happened before the arrival of Sarah. So in this case, when something happens before another action or another time, that action is supposed to be expressed in past perfect tense. Difference between present perfect and past perfect. Now here we have a kind of diagram. So present perfect, the action starts in the past and it comes to the present now. Like who is that woman? I have never seen her before. So now I have never seen her. We are not hungry. We have just had lunch. It means we have just taken lunch. So like it comes to the present time. The house is dirty. They haven't cleaned it for weeks. It means it is still dirty. So the action, it comes to the present time. But in the case of past perfect, the action begins in the past or before past time here. It begins here. It passes through the past and it does not come to the present. It ends in the past. Okay. So I did not know who she was. I had never seen her before. Before that time when I saw her. Okay. So when I saw her before that time, I had never seen her. We were not hungry. We had just had lunch. We were not hungry. It means I'm talking about past like yesterday or day before yesterday. We were not hungry. And before that, we had just had lunch. We had taken lunch before that. The house was dirty. They had not cleaned it for weeks. So I saw it in the past like yesterday or an hour before and it was dirty and they had not cleaned it before. And currently it may be clean. They might have cleaned it now. But when I saw it, it was not cleaned. Next, past perfect is also used for an action that happened before another action or a specific time in the past. Sometimes an action happens before another action or a specific time in the past. If two action happen one after the other, the one happened first is expressed in past perfect while the one happening later uh, is expressed in past simple. For example, the patient had died before the doctor came. Now two action happened in the past. One, the patient died. Second, the doctor came. Now the patient died before the arrival of the doctor. So the, the this is the first action. That is why we express it in past perfect while the second one is expressed in past simple. I had done BA before 2015. Now this is a specific time in past and something that happened before that specific time in the past, we use past perfect. I had done BA. We had discussed parts of speech before tenses. Now this is an event or an action and before this event or action we had done something so we used past we use past perfect we had discussed parts of speech 
past perfect is also used in reported or indirect speech when the direct speech is in present perfect or past simple remember when we convert a sentence from direct speech into indirect and the uh, direct speech is in present perfect or past simple so in indirect uh, narration it is converted into past perfect for example he said to me i have done my homework that is direct speech and it is in present perfect i have done he said to me that he had done his homework so here had done it is converted into past perfect she said i met my friend direct speech met past simple tense she said that she had met her friend so it is converted into past perfect now the structure we have subject any subject singular or plural followed by had then third form of the verb and then rest of the sentence for example he had lost his keys when he was ill she had written a novel before ma or i had done my homework before leave you had done many things in first grade we had watched all the videos before a month okay so that is how we use uh, past perfect in affirmative sentences there are some examples uh, when we got home last night we found that somebody had broken into the flat so when we got home last night it is past simple and before that what had happened we found that somebody had broken into the flat karen did not come to the cinema with us she had already seen the movie so now yesterday that like uh, she did not come with uh, us to the cinema that is past simple why because before that uh, coming to the cinema she had already watched or seen the movie at first i thought i had done the right thing but i soon realized that i had made a big mistake okay so that had happened before that i realized the people sitting next to me on the plane were nervous why they had not flown before because before this time they had never flown in plane or they had never flown before okay so here we use past perfect tense negative structure in negative we only introduce not after had so that becomes negative like she had not lost his keys or he had not written a novel or i had not done my homework you had not done a good job etc for making yes no questions we bring had to the start of the sentence followed by subject maybe he she it are you we they etc then third form then rest of the sentence and finally question mark for example had you played cricket had you watched tv had they come late or had he written homework or had she seen you etc and then we put a question mark how to answer these questions we bring yes followed by a comma then subject then had had they written it yes they had had he won the match yes he had had you done your homework yes i had and if you answer it with no no followed by a comma in subject then had not or hadn't had he seen you no he hadn't had they returned no they hadn't okay so that is how we answer yes no questions now how to make wh questions we bring uh, wh words like what when where why how then had subject third form on rest of the sentence and finally question mark for example what had you done like why were you sentenced or punished what had you done when had you played cricket or when had they watched tv or where had she written a story or when had she written a story or when or where or why had she read the novel etc so that is how we make wh questions in uh, past perfect tense there is another uh, type of wh question like which we make with which and what followed by object then had then subject and then third form of the verb like which book had you read or which movie had you watched or what novel had you studied or what game had you played 
etc so that is how we make these questions in past perfect tense we have negative interrogative sentences here so in negative interrogative we bring uh, a contraction a short form of had not or hadn't then subject third form rest of the sentence and question mark for example hadn't you played cricket hadn't we watched tv hadn't they slept late or hadn't she written stories hadn't she read novels and we can also make these questions in this way had i not played cricket or had he not watched tv but this structure with shortened form it is more common in spoken language while this one is uh, common in written language here is a simple activity read the situations and write sentences from the words in brackets like you went to jill's house but she was not there she has got she had got uh, she has gone out so from these words we have to make past perfect sentence she had gone out you went back to your hometown after many years it was not the same as before it had changed a lot in the same way make sentences for the rest of the words yourself so that you practice the structure put the verb into the correct form past perfect i had done etc or past simple i did etc okay was tom at the party when you arrived no he had gone home so here we need past perfect now we have to look if it needs past simple or past perfect so complete the rest of the blanks yourselves in order to practice the structure okay thank you thank you guys for watching this video for more such videos keep watching innovative english learning and do share it with your friends thank you take care of yourself